Watching Studio 9 Unplugged. Did you notice something when I was looping? My guitar don't have any strings attached to it. So how does it happen? How I am able to play the guitar without attaching any cable? So that's what I want to talk about today which is Cloud Vocal iSolo GT10. This is a condenser microphone transmitter and receiver system which can give you amazing acoustic guitar sound on the stage or in the studio. If you are a performing guitarist you know the sound of acoustic guitar is indispensable. You have the piazzo systems but that doesn't give you a very authentic acoustic sound. And what happens when you have a weird acoustic? You cannot move freely and kind of you have to stand still when you are playing the guitar. The iSolo GT10 solves both of these problems thanks to the condenser microphone it has. But you know that condenser microphones are very sensitive to the noise as well. Cloud Vocal supplies you the feedback suppressor. This way you will get a completely noise free, mild acoustic guitar tone which can give you the most authentic acoustic guitar sound on stage. If you want, you can move along entire stage and the signal won't be any weaker. There's one more thing I would just like to add. If you are a percussive player, if you want to play percussive guitar as I do, then this have you covered unlike the piezo setups because this is a microphone, actual microphone, which is capturing your guitar sound. If you're a looping musician as I am, as you can see that I have my beat body pedal, the Ditto X looper, and I have set up the iSolo GT10 with it. So my guitar is completely free and I can play it when I'm standing or even moving around the stage. To set it up, it's really very simple. Cloud Vocal supplies everything that you need to connect it with a PA system or a DI system. As you can see, this is the receiver unit we have here. You have a EQ, bass and treble control. You have a FX section where you can control the different kind of effects like delay and reverb and chorus. You have a range boost and you have the power source and if you want to blend some signal, line signal with it, you can do that if your guitar has a PSO system. On the top side, you can attach the antenna and you can sync it with other cloud vocal system. And on the bottom, you have a mute pedal input and aux input as well. So if you want to play it with some other MP3 player, you can do it. This is the transmitter unit. This is rechargeable. As you can see, there is a small button here and uh, there is a condenser microphone attached to it. You can recharge it. The rechargeable cable is supplied with cloud vocal package only. You also get the feedback suppressor for different sizes of guitar. If you have a small guitar, you can use the small one. If you have a bigger one, you can use the big one. If you want, you can just put it on your guitar without any feedback suppression. But I will highly recommend that you use this feedback suppressor. Put the transfer transmitter microphone in it and you can put it in your sound hole. And the receiver unit, first you have to attach the antenna to it. Then you just have to plug it in. From there, you can take the direct output to your PA systems or your mixer. As you can see, my I have my acoustic amp here, which is Blackster ID Core, acoustic core, which is amazing amp. There are reverb and chorus option as well, but I'm not going to use them. As you can see that uh, DI out from the cloud vocal is coming straight into the amp. And in the transmitter system, there is a small green light. So when you turn on the transmitter system, then you will see a green light and you can put it into the feedback suppressor. like this and this is a 39 inches guitar which is a small guitar and uh, you can put it just underneath the strings and it will fit perfectly in the guitar in the cloud vocal you can set the fx level properly if you want to have some delays and reverbs on your guitar you can do that from here and all the effects that that are in the system i have taken a screenshot from the manual and i am putting it on the screen if you want to record your cloud vocal GT10 output, then you can take the DI out receiver system and you can put it on your audio interface. If your audio interface has an instrument input, then you can turn it on and you have to set the gain levels properly so that the signal doesn't clips that you can do using your audio interface gain settings. You can do that. Set up. So after you set up your cloud vocal and your audio interface, you just have to set the proper input channel over here. 
in Cubase, you just have to go to audio system and you can set your audio interface and set the proper input and outputs. After that, you just have to create one audio channel and you hit record and you are good to go. So that was how you can record your GT10 output without any microphone or without any proper studio just using the Cloud Vocal GT10. So that was Cloud Vocal iSolo GT10 acoustic guitar system for you. I will put the link in the description if you are a singer songwriter or if you are a performing guitarist. I will suggest definitely check it out and if you have any questions do let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.